Here is our Adobe Audition, and the file is pulled up. And the sequence is this area right here that I'm highlighting, and that's the sequence before it's been modified. Let's listen to it. El murciélago. Bat. No me gustan los murciélagos. I don't like bats. Okay, so we're going to run the macro against that, and I'm going to position the cursor at the starting point, and I'm going to double-click this icon over here, which is the keyboard macro. And when I do, I will not be doing anything with the computer. It will be doing it all at this point. Okay, I've double-clicked it, and my hands are not on the mouse or the keyboard, but you see the mouse moving and you see it selecting all the things that it needs to select to insert the silence and then copy that sequence of the single word the spanish word and the english word after it's inserted the 2.5 seconds and the one second and it duplicates that Now that's been duplicated, but the sentences haven't been done, but it's positioned the cursor for the next run of the macro. So everything looks fine. This gives me a chance to look it over. I could play it if I needed to, but I'll just double click the cursor and the icon. And now it's going to go ahead and take the sentences and do the same thing. Again, I, I'm not touching the keyboard as I run this. It's going through inserting the 2.5 seconds on either side and then copying the sequence of the sentences and duplicating them. Okay, the sequence is now complete and the changes have been made concerning the word bats Okay, so this is the entire sequence replicated with the pauses inserted. Let's listen to it. El murciélago. Bat. El murciélago. Bat. No me gustan los murciélagos. I don't like bats. No me gustan los murciélagos. I don't like bats.